There is a call to trial. Uh, you have uh, been sponsored to uh, join the trial of blood right for the, the blood name Hazen, the, which has recently been uh, vacated by the death of Kanye Von Hazen. So yes. This is a very, very prestigious blood name and is uh, would be a great honor for anyone to claim. Okay. So you have been through uh, two rounds of the tournament so far, uh, besting warriors Leela and Ernest in single combat. Um, right. So by now you understand how uh, uh, the mechanics of this trial. So you're brought into a ceremony chamber, which is presided over by uh, Kale Pershaw, who is a very uh, is the lore master of Clan Jade Falcon. He's a very old man. Has many like cybernetic replacements from from decades of, of injuries, um, and he uh, uh, he welcomes you. Uh, you've you've also uh, you've been given a coin with your name on one side and the clan crest on the other. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, the, so it, it's, it's, so the typical way the, the trial goes is, is you're welcome. You announce what your, uh, you know, what deeds you've accomplished to, uh, to be worthy of competing for a blood name are. And then there is essentially an elaborate coin flip where you put these coins into this funnel that they spin around and whichever coin lands on top. Uh, is the hunter in the uh, in the trial, and that allows you to the hunter chooses the mode of combat, mm -hmm. um, and you have been lucky enough to be the hunter in the previous two rounds, so you were able to choose unarmed combat, which mm -hmm. gave you a large advantage over your opponents. Um, the and the hunted gets to choose the venue for the combat. So if, you know, if you, if say there were a choice of fighting in mechs, they would choose the battlefield. Okay. Um, so uh, the other two ceremonies went uh, very conventionally, you know, two Jade Falcons enter the room and, and, uh, and perform the ceremony and then move on to the trial. Okay. Uh, when you enter the ceremony chamber uh, today, you are greeted by Kale Pershaw and, in fact, someone in a Hell's Horses uniform. Oh. Another elemental. Oh, jeez. So the uniform looks something like that. Nice. Um, and Kale Pershaw sort of brings you forth both to the, uh, uh, to the, to the funnel to, to present your coins, uh, and, uh, he will say, Star Commander Karam, why are you worthy of competing for the blood name Hazen? Um... I can't remember anything right now. My brain's a total blank, as it always is when I get asked. Like, so I All start right. off. I am Star Commander Karam. Um, I command. What is it? Um, a star. Yeah. A star in the Seventh Falcon Regulars. Um. Uh, he cites some of his victories, I guess, mm -hmm. and then his final one will be. Um. In the current, uh, in the what was the trial that we just did, where I took down the direwolf? Yes, the uh, the revival, the Operation Revival placement trials. Smoke jaguars. Yeah, okay. you defeated a smoke Why jaguar direwolf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he lists that one as well, um, and he says, uh, "May the best candidate win." All right, so the. Uh, this Hell's Horses warrior uh, 
takes off his, his helmet with this big frill on it and says, I am Star Commander Lewis of Bloodhouse Hazen. While I was taken bondsman early in my career by Clan Hell's horses, I have earned the right of Abtaka amongst the horses and risen to the rank of Star Commander in the 69th Battle Neck Cluster, leading a star of elementals to glory against the wolves, falcons, and jaguars alike in many battles on Eden. I have also killed mech warriors Nadine and Yolanda in single combat in this tournament. Expect no mercy from me. None shall be given. None shall be asked. Uh, so at this point, uh, uh, Kale Pershaw will ask that you insert your coins into the, into the funnel. Okay. And I would like you to make an edge check. Okay. That's that thing you... Yes. Made. Okay. Uh, 2d20 plus your edge. 2d10, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, 10, that's fine. All right. Well, you definitely, uh, qualify as the hunter in this scenario okay. so that means you have the choice of mode of combat <clears throat> oh so would you like to fight augmented in elemental armor would you like to fight unaugmented but with weapons of choice or unaugmented just a straight up fist fight uh... or some other manner of of contest I think um, I don't unfortunately have the points to do augmented uh, uh, armored combat. Uh, well, so so this is another elemental. So it would be a straight up like two elemental elementals, fight? two elementals in in armor. Right. Um, okay. Then I'm going to choose unaugmented combat fists. Um, can I do martial arts or? Yes. Well, yeah. So that would be a, I mean, it, it, it would be any, yeah. And like it just a fight without weapons. So yes, okay. you'll be using, you'll be using martial arts. Okay. Very well. Then we shall meet in a circle of equals. Uh, and we will move over to a circle of equals. Uh, why do I always freeze when it comes time for my character to speak? Urgh. I know. That's, <laughs> that's all right. Oh. That is okay. <laughs> this is why reps are some hype men. <laughs> the manager is to do the talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is how I will be. Behold! Star Commander Karam! Vanquisher of the Dire Wolf and Timber Wolf of the past Battle of the Revival! Representing Jade Falcon! Chosen uh, uh, star, uh, people of uh, 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 com Star Commander uh, Rama trained personally in her tutelage. Whoa. <laughs> early in career, taking command when only a, a, a newborn warrior uh, of a whole po a star of elementals of the seventh Vulcan uh, Vulc regulars. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you get a hype, man. They just do it for you. Okay, you know what? Next time I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Probably that's the thing. Because in this particular case, you're, I'm not in the room with you because I'm not a named warrior. So gotcha. <laughs> that's awesome, though. Thank you. I feel a little bit better listening to that. Because if you watch the video on me, it's just like I'm stumbling at the same point. So I try to remember the stuff we did. I did, I was like quoting our like Sibco, uh name instead of our actual unit, right? No, for sure. Uh, is there? I'm still seeing the brackets. Are you? Yeah, I'm. Okay. I'm. Ju I'm just preparing the map. Okay. Cool. Uh... Thanks, Jerry. That made me feel better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, when they're put on the spot to do this, unless they, like they remember that this is part of the tradition, it's just like, it's like, oh shit, what have I done? <laughs> okay. So. You should now be seeing a circle of equals. Okay, I am seeing it. A very small circle of equals with the avatar size. <laughs> this guy is going to be a tough one. And uh, so, so, so the other thing uh, that you will have you will have picked up is he didn't just defeat his last two opponents; he killed, killed. them. Yeah, I picked that up. 
That's why he said no mercy will be shown. Yeah. I'm expect I'm expecting full on uh holy shit, I could die. Oh well. It's nothing like it, it it's the same as the Dar Wolf. Yep. Oh Trial initiated. Jade Falcon protocol. All systems nominal. All right. Uh, you can roll initiative. Okay. Uh, wait. Does that also mean that, like, Krom, in order to preserve, if he, if he defeats Lewis, will he actually have to kill him? Uh, no. That is entirely up to you. Okay. Fair enough. I just don't want to, like. Nice, Krom. You got initiative. Sweet. Um. Yeah, make sure you're clicked onto your token when you roll initiative. Yeah, do you want me to re-roll that? No, nope, that's okay. I've, I've got it. It'll just be... All right, okay. so uh, you react first. Okay. Um, now, I can't just do my Rand has kick thing right right away. I've got to, like, get into his... Uh, yeah, no, you need, you need to close, close to him. Yeah, so I close to him? Yep. Uh, get into his face. Yep. Uh, and I'm gonna do... Hmm. Uh... Hell. Um... Just to clarify, did you walk or run? Oh, yeah, because that gives that, me a... That would be walking, but... Like, okay, thank you. yeah, no, the... The the whole ring is only a, is only a few meters across. Okay, I'm not sure if I should like, haymaker or if I should. You want to start with your big, uh, big new taekwondo roundhouse kick? Why not? There's a part of me that feels like that should be a finisher move, but all right. Okay, what am I Oh, I'm wrong. Okay. Sorry, that back. is that has the wrong bonus on it. Um... But we'll keep that. Oh, that was Lewis's attack. That was yeah. That was that was Lewis's counter. Yeah. So Karam, if you hit the uh, martial arts taekwondo macro I set up for you, it should. And target number is seventeen. Target number is going to be fourteen. Okay. All right. So you hit by two. Okay. Uh, that is going to cost you two fatigue. Okay, I'll put that down. Um, however, he is going to hit you by six. So that oh. means he actually connects with you, like ducks under your roundhouse kick and gives a, a shot to the like inside of the other leg. Okay. Um, so he similarly is quite strong okay um but because this isn't an armor armor piercing attack it would only be oh you're marking uh wound value not fatigue there we go oh whoops yeah blue blue is fatigue red is wounds okay um and uh however your your the the your body absorbs some of the damage so okay. it will only inflict another fatigue Okay. Cool. So. All right. All right. So now, um, he is going to uh, respond with a quick hit of his own. Okay. Um, would you like to use a maneuver to defend yourself, like say block? Yeah, but that uh, does that add a fatigue? That doesn't add a fatigue. What it does is it halves the amount of damage that you take. Okay, uh, I will block. Okay, but that means if you if you are successful, you don't do damage. Uh oh, good point. So all right, you know what? I'm not wounded yet, so I won't bother. Okay, so just a straight up defense encounter. Yeah. Yep. Alright. So, uh, he will hit you with a margin of success of 9. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So you can do your martial arts skill. And the target number is still 14? 14, yeah. Uh, and he, you only get a margin of success of one, so that's a net of eight. His strength of eight is going to be 16, minus your bod is going to be a grazing wound. However, because you're an elemental, you have toughness, reduces the wound value. Uh, so you don't actually take a real injury, but you do take another fatigue. Now, how much fatigue can I take? Uh, I so, so you can take double your willpower and fatigue which is so you have six willpower which means you can have 12 fatigue before you pass out that's crazy um the now you can recover fatigue okay so if you want you can spend a turn not attacking and just and just like catch your breath some yeah Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm not too far up the fatigue chain then yeah. for now. So. However, once you take fatigue uh, more than half, you start taking a penalty for every point of fatigue. And that's not something I want. No. Yeah, maybe I'll go easy then and I'll try and recover some. Yeah. Anyway, so you you close in, throw a big roundhouse kick to start. He gives you one one shot of the inside of your leg and one <laughs> and 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 another uh, shot that you like block with your bicep that leaves a good bruise but doesn't uh doesn't leave an actual injury okay uh so we can go to initiative <laughs> exact same roll exact same rolls all right so you are up what would you like to do Okay, so um, I can recover fatigue, but means I don't do any damage, right? Correct, and also, but that also doesn't give him an opportunity to strike at you. You just, you just kind of like turtle up and catch your breath. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you are going to recover five fatigue, which is all of it. Yes. Go for the lariat! The lariat! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, however, is not going to let you uh, catch your breath quite so easily and is going to attack. Okay. So you can defend yourself with this. Right. Uh, wow, he hit for a lot, didn't he? Yeah. Consi it's very consistent. Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to defend. Okay, so you're going to block? Yeah, and okay. that... So okay, give me yeah. a Taekwondo check. All right. Uh, so he's only going to hit you by four. His strength is going to get that up, but then you reduce by half the amount of damage, uh, which is going to reduce it to just a fatigue. Okay. And we're back to the top of the round. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, he he uh, is going to like he is not giving you a moment to rest. So he's going to follow up with another strike. Yep. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. And we'll oh, yeah. just hit. So. How would you like to respond? Oh, leg sweep? Can I do leg sweep? Uh, only when you're attacking. Mm, okay, good point. Um, and and also, you, uh, you don't have that maneuver. I don't? No, your martial arts military, military maneuver is a haymaker. Ah, okay. So how do I respond? Can I... So uh, you could either block for half damage mm -hmm. or just make a basic, like, just a basic attack and just let your, you know, strength do the talking. Okay, I'll block for half damage. Okay. So roll Taekwondo. Well, good thing you did because otherwise you would have taken some damage there. But you didn't miss by much and he barely hit you, so it'll be another... In fact, 
Uh, that will not even be a fatigue. You just take no damage. Oh wow! Miss, so you, he he's he's got you with your with your guards up and it, and isn't uh, is is just throwing punch after punch. Jeez. Uh, uh, but that is his turn. It is not super effective. How do you respond? Ooh. I guess I could try another roundhouse kick. You could try another roundhouse kick. Yep. Let's do it. Somehow I think bear hugging this guy may not have the most... Uh... Yeah, you you size, sizing him up, you figure you're pretty evenly matched when it comes to strength. Yeah. I It's like bear hugging myself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy either. Yeah. Okay. So a bear hug between people who are eagles trying to just be a hug. <laughs> Pretty much. Ooh, you leave yourself wide open. Oh boy. So that will be a net margin of success of fourteen. Mm -hmm. Plus oh, his wow. strength of eight is gonna make twenty-two, minus your bot of six is going to make uh, 16, mm -hmm. which is a minor wound. Okay. Uh, so he gives you a, like, you, you'd, again, do that big roundhouse kick. He ducks underneath, gives you a good shot to your ribs and cracks a rib. Nice. Well, if there's anything Rama's taught me, it's cracked ribs don't mean anything, so. <laughs> However, you are now stunned. Okay, that means I can't do anything? Yeah, that means your your turn. You're going to just be recovering from stun. Okay. So uh, let's go initiative. All right. Well, you get to recover from stun just in time for him to attack you again. Whew. Okay. How would you like to defend yourself? Yes. What it? What is it that I did? I use martial arts before to uh, defend myself. Yep. I'll yeah, you're it. like if you're just going to defend yourself, just doing taekwondo, like just straight up taekwondo. It's just whether or not you want to block or not. Yeah. Okay. Or do you want to? Do you want to be open for? Uh, for counterattack. Counter How many wounds can I take? Uh, twelve. Oh, jeez. Okay. But I'm assuming the more wounds you take, the harder it gets to yep. bite. Yeah, and in fact, you have a minor wound. The pain of the wound is going to uh, cause a plus one to the target number. So now it's one harder, so he's 15 to hit. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, this guy is fucking eating my lunch. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Remember when I fought that member of the Nova Cats? He was winning by great margin until I one shot at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. What? I'll. I'll. Def I'll block. Okay. So it's martial arts. Martial arts. Uh. Yeah. So that'll be another very low margin of success, and your strength and bod kind of offset each other a lot. So not even a fatigue. So awesome. your 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 defense is is doing well. Okay. Your offense is kind of suffering. They're, they're, yeah, they're a bit smelly. All right. But uh, you are. Uh, we're, sorry, we're back to initiative. Okay. okay. <laughs> Beat them by one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, he keeps ducking my roundhouse kicks. Does he have a special evasive ability? I, mean, I guess I no, can. No, he's, he's, he just happens to be rolling quite well when you throw the roundhouse kick. Okay. Let me try like, that he, he, he doesn't He doesn't seem especially uh, like his technique is not anything special. He's just mm -hmm. very, very fast and brutal. Gotcha. All right, let's try a run kick again. Oh. Okay, that'll be another two fatigue. 
All right, get some margin of success of one. See how he does. Gets a margin of success of two. So, uh, again, th like you, this time you almost catch him, and he throws you throws you a, like just a quick counter that again doesn't doesn't do anything to you just because of how tough you are. Right. It would have cer certainly hurt somebody that is not as strong as you are. Okay. However, he then follows up with, uh, do you want to block? Uh, I'm probably going to have to. Does that give me another fatigue? I can't remember. No, no. Only, only Haymaker and Roundhouse, give, Roundhouse okay. Kick give you fatigue. Okay, so I'm going to block. All right, so he uh, is not going to hit you at all. So he, so he he throw he throws like a right hook at your head and you just bob out of the way. Nice. But because you're blocking, you don't do any damage. So. Okay. Has he been making himself tired, like fatigued, or? No, he he's he is not like he's not throwing the big power moves the same way that you are. Hmm. But okay. uh, actually, I just realized there's something I need to do for your. Taekwondo, because I don't have the damage dice exploding, and they should. Okay. Uh, and I think that's to initiative. Okay. All right, you win initiative. <laughs> I'm not going to do another goddamn roundhouse kick. Uh... It's a four, so I should probably try and sink some. Okay. So you're just going to catch your breath? Yeah. I'm getting okay. a little high. You recover two. Okay. Sweet. However, you get a gulp of air, and before you can, uh, before you can exhale... Another round of attacks come from Lewis. Ooh, he does poorly this time. Tiger knee! Tiger knee! <laughs> so, defend yourself with Taekwondo? Yeah. Uh, you also miss. So there was just a flurry of attacks that not, none of them connect. Okay. And we are to the top of initiative. Round two. Fight. Oh, this is still... There's one round. And we're still in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, he will, he will beat you on initiative. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to block? Pro yeah, probably. Okay. Ooh, he misses you wildly. There's no need to block, God damn it. No. Yeah, so in this case, like, had you... Oh, that would have been a good counter. Yeah, that would have been a huge counter. Yeah. But that's that's, that's why you need to declare whether you're blocking, whether you're, like, before the rolls yeah. happen. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right, so, uh, on your turn. Uh, all right, since I sunk some, I'm going to try another roundhouse kick. Okay. Come on, do it. Ooh, you leave yourself wide open. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. But he is unable to, uh... So, he's too busy ducking this time. Okay. He could not take advantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so that just causes the fatigue, and we are back to initiative. All right, you are up. Okay. He's still a little bit off balance from ducking under that massive kick. Right. 
Unfortunately, I'm at four fatigue. So if I go to six, that means well. So that means any additional fatigue after that point will uh, will start adding up uh, penalties. Mm-hmm. But four, not not so much, right? Well, six, like even up to six, doesn't cause any penalties. It's once you're above six. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to use a roundhouse kick. Okay. Come on, Kron, you can do this. Prove yourself. All right, you got a margin of success. Ooh, he That's gets a what? little bit more. Okay. So, uh... Oops. <laughs> no, not ten. Uh, so that's March success four. His strength of eight is twelve minus your six, so that'll be another fatigue on top. Okay. Um. Oh. I got thirteen fatigue. Sorry, 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 uh, sorry. I I hit. I meant to say seven, but did plus seven, so it added seven. <laughs> Don't worry, you are not unconscious. Awesome. But you are nursing an injury and now breathing really heavy. Yep. And yeah, I think so. he comes up in a, like, boxing stance and says, that kick would be really nasty if it, if it could ever connect, and <laughs> throws, you, throws you a quick left jab. Uh, do you want to block? Yep. Ooh. If you were not in a blocking stance, he would have left himself so wide open. Crap. Oh, God. Double ones. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're, you're seeing like, oh, that would have murdered him. But Oh, jeez. Maybe I should stop blocking them. Well, again, that's that's the risk, because otherwise he hits you and... God knows what he does. Yeah. Because I'm facing myself, essentially. <laughs> well, no, he's not nearly as aggressive as you are. Uh, he's peppering with you with a whole bunch of little hits, whereas yeah. you're throwing gigantic sledgehammer kicks. Mm. If they ever connect, they're going to murder him. They're going to kill him, but... They're not connecting. Yeah, they're just not connecting. All right, uh, initiative. Okay, so you win initiative. Yep. I'm definitely going to have to sing some. Okay. So. You recover five. Nice. Down to two, I think. Or, sorry. Yeah. So you just draw um, back and you're like... And, you know, just to, just as you're catching a little bit of breath, another attack comes. All right. Uh, leaves himself a little bit open. Okay. Uh... And nothing will connect. That's okay. Yeah, you both... Yeah, so... A couple of couple of swipes come, you know, come close to connecting, but nothing quite does. And then Karam smiles and says, "If that ever connected, it would hurt." Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How does that rib feel, Falcon? Wonderful. <laughs> Initiative. All right. Well, lost for change. So he's going to take another shot at your wounded rib. Mm -hmm, that makes sense. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I would like to um, not block and just see just, if I can get him. Just see if you can counter him? Yeah. So you see the attack to the rib coming and counter. <laughs> nice. Shit. Unfortunately, that roundhouse kick damage doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't apply. But yeah. But that is going to be a solid hit in return. So that's going to be nineteen damage minus his 
body of six is 13, is going to uh, graze, fatigue, and stun him. Okay. And now he is. You win initiative. This is gonna be good. <laughs> well, no, it that was that was Lewis's turn. So it's Karam's turn now. Even better. <laughs> so you you've you've kind of got him dazed, not seriously hurt. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's like you saw you saw where he was going and counter with like a quick elbow to the chin and just just like momentarily daze him. Yeah. So he's going to be too easier to hit because of his. Uh... Okay. So I'm gonna do my roundhouse kick and we'll see what happens. Yeah. So uh, set the target number to twelve. Twelve. Okay. Oh well, he is just enough with it to uh, to duck. Okay. Uh, at this time, Karam's grinning because like he's just laughing at the situation. Yeah. But he is going to respond uh, weakly. Mm -hmm. Very weakly. But he is he is with it enough to duck. Okay. Alright, and initiative. And he's stunned, so that's even lower. You uh, you can press your advantage. I will press my advantage. Red house kick. Okay. Rama would be proud. It's 14? Uh, 12 still. He's still stunned. Okay. Come on, Karam. You can do it. Alright. You get a connect. And, oh, he just manages to deflect the, uh, the hit. Nice. Uh, not enough to do any real damage to you. Yep. He's just going to let you tire yourself out, and then his turn finally comes up and he recovers from his stun. Yep, okay. Uh, I just... We are well matched. Uh, yes, we can go initiative. Yes, I think, I believe we are. <laughs> All right, Karam, you're up. What the hell is my initiative dice rolls I know, it's the same thing with me when I did. So apparently on one-on-one, -on -one, we just do much better for initiative. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to have to sink some. Because wound plus breathing heavily isn't so hot. Yep. All right, well, you oh, nice. recover all six. Holy shit. All right. Your endurance is really, like, paying off. All right, so that was your turn. On his turn, do you want to block or counter? Um, I'll counter. Okay. Give him the spear! The spear! So, he gets a margin of success of zero. Okay, no. So, okay. he's about to land a weak hit on you, but okay. you can counter. Okay, so target number 14? Yes. Because he's, he's back with it now. Ooh, minus three. So that's going to... Uh, again, a weak hit that'll cause a fatigue, but no okay. wound. All right. Uh, and and no, uh, no stun or anything. Okay. All right, back to initiative. Ooh, that is the wrong dice. Ignore that. I uh, clicked the wrong button. Uh, okay, so he's going to follow up that hit with another hit. Yep. Uh, ooh, he leaves himself open a little bit. Okay. You're countering, I assume? Yep. That's it. Oh, okay, I got caught. That's why I looked like that. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> so again, another just sort of pair of attacks that don't don't find anything. I think I'm pouring all my luck into initiative. Yeah. Well, so you're well, which you really don't necessarily need in in just a 1v1 fight. I know. Um Okay. But yeah, you you're like you're really it's like he's 
He's not quite as big as you are, but is a fair bit faster than you are. Yeah, I can see that. And a little harder to pin down. Anyway, it is your turn. Yeah. I found that changing pace during my match helped quite a bit. So, you know, you could just use maybe military martial arts the one turn instead of Taekwondo. I was thinking of doing that. Yeah. I was thinking of doing that. Throw a haymaker instead? Now, I mean, you've got a you've got a smaller bonus with martial arts military than you do with taekwondo. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's, I'm just saying sometimes even for RPing, it's just it's a good change of pace. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to do that. Okay. So, and my target number is 14. Yes. Not 145. He's not quite that brutal. He's not that fast. Okay, so you get a march success of two. And he gets a march success of two. So uh, so this is just like you each throw a couple of attacks that, that you just like block and counter, but mm -hmm. no no damage is done. Okay. It's one of those things where, where you kind of like get close up and like locked up with, uh, with the other guy and just kind of struggle for a little bit. Yeah. I hear you. Okay, it's my turn now. Uh, yeah. Well, sorry, we're, that was that that was your turn. So we're on yeah. to initiative. Okay. Initiative. Nothing so great. All right. So he's going to, again, being so close and locked up, is just going to like give you a give you a knee into your side. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. All right. Do you want to block or counter? I'll counter. Okay. He gets a march of success of two. And you get a minus six. Jesus. So, um... Huh? That button is cursed. Be right back, I'm just gonna get some water. Uh... Yeah, so, uh, that'll be another fatigue. Mm-hmm. And would have been a wound, except for your toughness stat. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and it is your turn. All right. So I'm going to use martial arts military. Okay. Uh, throwing a haymaker or just, just a straight up hit? Throwing a haymaker. Okay. Oh, that doesn't hit anything. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, so he ducks under that and gives you a quick little pop that is going to cause fatigue, but not a damage. Okay. Like, oh, your arms do work. Because <laughs> Taekwondo is all kicks. Yeah, it is. Uh, and we're back to the initiative. Frog's grinning, but I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. <laughs> Ooh, initiative. Yep. Finish. There we go. All right, you are up, and he is now at arm's length. Okay. What do I do? Uh, okay. Martial arts military. Here we go. Ooh, that's a good one. So, uh, was sorry, was that a was that a haymaker or? Oh, I should have I should have mentioned. Yeah, um, you could just have the regular because I forgot to mention it. Well, I mean, I'm 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 happy for you to like you've been pretty aggressive so far. Yeah. If you if you like, I trust you. If your intention was to throw a haymaker, then. Yeah. Okay. So we'll add a fatigue to you. And then he needs to defend a heck of a hit. Which he does a pretty good job of, but uh, not that good. Uh, so adding the haymaker damage on top of that. 
So your 22 hits his 14 by 8. You get 15. We're subtracting his bod minus fatigue. It is going to inflict a grazing wound. And a fatigue. And stun him. Oh my. So, a good crack across his jaw and he's staggered again. Okay. Um, and then, uh, he'll, uh, draw back up and, you know, shake it off, but right. won't, uh, won't, won't respond because he was stunned. Right. But we are back to initiative. However, before you can follow up on on uh, his momentary momentarily being dazed, mm -hmm. he's gonna fight back. Uh, do you want to block or counter? I'll counter. Okay. So he misses you by one. And you miss him by one, so nothing connects. <laughs> wow. Uh, your turn. All right. I missed anything of note. Uh, Karam landed a solid haymaker. All right, martial arts military. Yeah. Oh wait a minute. Sorry. Uh, I forgot to add your strength into that and get into into that whole thing. He actually took a uh a minor wound from that. Oh. So you actually like, you know, so you th throw a, a crack against his jaw and he'll actually like spit out a tooth. Oh, jeez. Uh, right. And then... So he's not stunned right now, though. Uh, No, not now. Okay. Uh, um, so, yeah. So there was, on his turn, there were a couple of ineffective attacks. It is now your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. Um, I'm going to try another Haymaker. Okay. Ooh, he he's like, oh, the arms are in play, and ducks ducks well under, off to the side, uh, but can't quite uh, manage a counter. Okay. Uh, and we are back to initiative. All right. You're starting to breathe hard again. Sorry. Pardon. Chin, he's still rattled from that hit to the chin. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, this initiative, right? Yeah. Well then. Alright, so, he ducks under, does a quick counter that, that doesn't connect. Okay. And then, uh, lashes out with his leg towards your knee. Oh. However, he's moving a little slower because of his injuries now, so. Okay. Uh, he gets you with a zero. Okay. So, uh, blocker or counter? I'm going to block that one. Okay. The knee is, if the knee goes out, I'm kind of screwed for the roundhouse kick. So. Yep. Uh, what do I, I can so block with martial Block with Taekwondo, yeah. Yeah. Come on, work for me. Uh, so he does connect. But okay. because you block, you won't you won't take any significant damage. Okay. And it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna sink some. Okay. You sink all of it. Oh my god! Awesome. Two fives, two sixes, and a two for sinking. Yeah. All right, and we are to initiative. Did I uh, roll? Nope. Oops. Oh, by one. All right. So, sensing that you're you're on the defensive, he will throw another flurry of attacks. However, again, a uh, uh, nursing an injury. Uh, so MOS of zero. Are you blocking or uh, countering? Countering. Uh, 
Okay, you get MOS of 4, plus your strength of 9 is going to be 13. Uh, his fatigue and wound are now coming into play, so that is going to be another grazing wound for him. Awesome. Doesn't mean he can't kick my ass still, but... Yeah, well, so that was his turn. Yep. You've got him. You've got him stunned. Yeah, now I'm going to try roundhouse kick. Okay. Oh god, please work, please. Mama needs a new set of shoes. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh! So a margin of success of 13. And he gets a MOF, MOF of 4. Oh, sorry, actually 6 because he's still stunned. Uh, so you hit him by 19. Oh my god. Do another 20 damage from the roundhouse kick. Oh my god. Because it's got armor penetration, his bod doesn't reduce it. Oh jeez. So oh, you have, great. you have just leveled a critical wound against him. Oh jeez. One away from a deadly wound. <laughs> wow. Which will, uh... Yeah, so that's... He's got plus four to target numbers. He's got... Uh, okay, let's say he's got a little power of six, and he's going against a target number of 15, 19. He needs to make a knockout check. Okay. Yitch, he fails. So your roundhouse kick comes right, right against his head. Oh, jeez. And you feel the crack of his skull as it fractures. And he falls down, bleeding from his nose and, and one of his ears. Oh, jeez. And does not get back up. Okay. Radix would like to do a roll to decide to impersonate a med tech. So just to smell the smell blood, cut it off. <laughs> well, uh, you wouldn't be, you probably wouldn't be, like, ready to, like, run onto the field here. But anyway, so uh Karam is, is declared the victor and Medtex come in to see to uh Lewis. Yes. Who fought an honestly really good fight. Yeah. But oh man, oh, that I have to ask the question. Do you want to finish him off before the Medtex get there? I mean that is certainly a thing you can do. Karam's intention is to have as many people make it to the uh, is to the inner sphere as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, so the horses aren't going to the inner sphere. That's the thing is, yeah, the hell's horses aren't going to the inner sphere. Well, they aren't. No, they did poorly in the trials. Would it be insulting to him if I didn't kill them? Um, I mean, he is so he just fought two Jade Falcons and kit like like two two other members of Bloodhouse Hazen. Mm -hmm. that were Jade Falcon warriors and killed both of them. Right. So, you know, it is certainly well within your rights in a circle of equals to take the life of your opponent. And this this would not be seen as wasteful to your clan because he is no longer a member of your clan. Right. But, wasteful to the clans at large, arguably... But this guy has also made a point of putting Jade Falcons in the ground. Yeah, okay. That actually makes it so that I might actually kill them then. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's not a thing I usually do, but in this circumstance, it makes sense. Plus, he's doing it also. He was fighting this battle for uh, the uh, Sipkin that he lost in the last battle, so... Mm -hmm. If this guy put Jade Falcons into the ground, then yeah, he yep. would probably finish him. Yeah, he like he ended the career of two promising Jade Falcon mech warriors. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, so so like the the med techs are standing by looking to see if if like if you're sort of walking away celebrating your victory or are gonna finish them finish them off. Yeah. So I finish him off. All right. right. Middle ground, just cripple him. Cripple him? Yeah. That, yeah. 
Hmm. That's the middle ground. <laughs> yeah, that is the middle ground. For some warriors, that might be a fate worse than death. Yeah. I know. <laughs> like, I think for him, that would be a fate worse than death. Yeah. Krom has a little bit of compassion. Like, he knows that going from being an elemental to, like, you know, like, frontline, just, like, chaff is, like, not not the future anyone wants. So. All right, I well, mean, Karam, the choice is yours. Does he live or die? <sighs> shit. Um, that's a good question. I'm like a little devil on your, on your shoulder by bringing this up. <laughs> <sighs> I could have crippled him. But I don't know. Krom seems that like that feels like a fate worse than death to Krom, and he wouldn't do that to anyone unless they were in their spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, now I mean, he was certainly he was honorable in his conduct. Yeah. So he was just would, brutal. And killing him would be far more honorable than crippling him. So that is what he'll do. He'll finish him off. All right. You just reach down and snap his neck. Yep. All right. Well, he is put down. Uh. Swiftly. Time makes him clear. And we'll be. <laughs> what? <laughs> Time makes him clear. <laughs> okay. Anyway, with that, there, uh, Kale Pershaw will approach and say, Congratulations, Star Commander Karam. You have moved on to the next round of the Trial of Blood Rite. Combat is the judge. Thank you, honorable warrior. Selah. 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 And to the dead hell's horseman, I say, well fought, honorable warrior. To his corpse? Yeah, basically. Fair. She's been, Karan's been hanging around me too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he says it like in a respectful tone. Yeah. Like. I just think that to him, being crippled and being like taken from the front would just be such a horrible fate that to Krom it's better to kill somebody. I'm such a stinker. I'm really <laughs> convincing people to murder people. Oh well, well, it's 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 not murder if you're entering into what is known to be potentially mortal combat. Yeah. Um, so what time's Frederick's fight? 7 o'clock tonight? Yes. Anyway, congratulations, Karam. Thank you. We'll see you in the, uh, I guess, semi-final. Awesome. Oh, am I going to be facing one of you guys then? Uh, uh, whoever wins between um, Wick and uh, Xerxes, I think. Okay. Oh, fighting Xerxes would suck. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's my pimp, my elemental bro. I yep. can't do that to him. I think I'm fighting Nikita next. Oh, that's going to be an interesting fight. Well, yeah, it's either going to be Nikita, I would assume, would want to do Max. Well, me, meaning the psychopath, well, get up close. So it would be interesting. Yeah. Mm. Well, that will be down to, uh, down to the coin toss. Yep. Anyway, well, congratulations, Karam. Thank you. Reminds me, I need to start researching other max weight class types just in case he chooses something I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Well, okay, so uh, what's the brackets? Light is uh, 20 to 30 or? 20 to 35. Medium is 40 to 55. Heavy is 60 to 75. And assault is 80 and up. Okay. So I guess it, uh, it's all down to who gets Town Hunter or Prey. Yes. Is the M3 the clan name for our mech, or is that like an industry name? I was just looking up random stuff because I was starting research yeah. last night. Uh, hold on. So I'm, I'm just going to close the recording down. So, uh, so congratulations, Karam, and we will see you in the semifinals.